Hi, everybody. This is Dr. Brett Talley Daniel, MD, and I'm a neurologist, headache doctor, and podcaster here today. Interesting talk, I think, on what's called primary thunderclap headache. Well, primary thunderclap headache is a new name for sudden onset severe headache. Primary in this situation means there's no certain medical cause. So things like high blood pressure are called, is called primary hypertension. And something like 90% of persons who have high blood pressure, we don't really know the cause, and it's called primary. And then tension type headache and migraine are the two giant types of primary headache. Now, if you've ever been in a rainstorm and suddenly startled by a close, high-volume shock of thunder, you know that's what's called thunderclap. We'll jump and sort of want to get away from it, and then we realize it's just thunder and we relax. Well, imagine a headache that comes on suddenly like that, out of the blue, and for no reason, a horrible spike of knock-you-down-to-your-knees type severe onset-to-peak headache. Isn't it appropriate to call it thunderclap headache? It was later worked up by doctors and tests, and nothing is found wrong. We could call it primary thunderclap headache. So what is primary thunderclap headache? The International Classification of Headache Disorders, number three, states the following. This type of headache has also been called benign thunderclap headache. It does not recur regularly, so it only comes usually once or so. If nothing pathological is found, it may result in other headache diagnoses, such as primary cough headache, primary exercise headache, and primary headache associated with sexual activity. So if the work of the tests are normal and you don't have another cause, it may be in one of those entities. It may occur in the setting of sexual relations, but also at other times. It should be vigorously worked up with testing as described for primary headache related to sexual activity. I have an article on that on my webpage at um, www.drmigraine.com. It's under uh, uh, primary sexual headache. All these types of headaches can present as thunderclap headache. When such headache is attributed uniquely to one of these triggers, it should be coded accordingly to one of these headache types, such as primary cough headache, primary exercise headache, or primary headache associated with sexual activity. So primary thunderclap headache is described as A, high-intensity headache, which is of abrupt onset, mimicking that of a ruptured cerebral aneurysm, but occurs in the absence of any intracranial pathology. B, this abrupt onset headache reaches maximum intensity in less than one minute. So it's a fast-rising onset to peak headache. C, the headache lasts for five minutes or less, so it's not a long-lasting headache. Thunderclap headache strikes suddenly and severely, peaks within 20 seconds, and can be accompanied by nausea or vomiting. And other signs and symptoms that may occur also are an altered mental state, fever, and seizures. The authors of ICDH3 comment that Evidence that thunderclap headache exists as a primary disorder is poor, and the search for analyzing cause should be exploited and exhaustive. It means people should be really worked up, see a neurologist, headache doctor, get worked up. Thunderclap headache is frequently associated with serious vascular intracranial disorders, such as, and most commonly, it is associated with subarachnoid hemorrhage, which is found with an aneurysm, or reversible cerebral vasoconstriction syndrome. Rare causes of this type of headache are intracranial, intracerebral hemorrhage, cerebral venous thrombosis, unruptured vascular malformation, such usually an aneurysm, arterial dissection, which can be intra or extracranial, pituitary apoplexy, meningitis, a colloid cyst of the third ventricle, CSF hypotension, or acute sinusitis, particularly if there's barrel trauma, like changing barometric pressure change. But primary thunderclap headache should be a diagnosis of last resort 
reached only when all organic causes have been demonstrably occluded. And this implies normal brain imaging, including the brain vessels and or normal spinal fluid exam. A person with a thunderclap headache must have a lumbar puncture showing normal cerebral fluid, as well as normal brain imaging, usually with a brain CAT scan and our brain MRI scan. Also, usually a magnetic resonance or angiogram is done. It's called an MRA or a venogram. Magnetic resonance venogram called MRV as in Victor is done to further rule out any blood vessel problem in the brain. Sometimes an actual real uh, carotid arteriogram of the brain is done. Now, regarding this vasoconstriction syndrome, sometimes vasoconstrictions are not observed in the early stages. Uh, this is called RCVS. And for this reason, probably primary thunderclap headache is not a diagnosis that should be made even temporarily. Related questions. Well, what is the cause of primary thunderclap headache then? If it's not related to these organic things, they rule it out. So the cause of primary thunderclap headache is largely unknown. It may be related to a spasm of the blood vessels in the brain or some abnormality of the sympathetic nerve system. Many of these cases relate to patients who have migraine. What's the treatment for it? Well, treatment depends on the origin. For instance, treatment of a subarachnoid hemorrhage would involve neurologic and or neurosurgical intervention. If medical emergencies have been ruled out, treatment for primary thunderclap headache can be challenging. Individuals usually don't respond well to typical headache pain relievers. However, the short duration of headache is defined as five or less minutes, means it doesn't last that long, and really more research is needed on this rare primary headache disorder. Now, beyond that, on my webpage, I have some literature reviewed on this uh, from several writers that you're encouraged to look at. Pretty much I've summarized that with the statements I've made. Um, so, I think I'm in the discussion here. Please also go to my uh, blog article on this, uh, Primary Thunderclap Headache at www.drmigraine.com. Uh, please click on the subscribe issue there. Thank you very much for listening to this. Uh, God bless all you people who have had migraine or thunderclap headache. And I'll see you again on another, another talk.